Hi, in this video I'll be teaching you how you can make a cool blue YouTube banner just like this. Please subscribe, I hope you enjoy it. Shit. Okay, now I'll just go to PZ Lab, tap on here, tap on here. Then make image size 2560 by 1440. That's YouTube banner size. Okay, so go over to here, edit your test, type in your name. So now I'll go over to fonts, my font, and she stick. Okay, now make sure size something bigger. Okay, so just tap on here, add a new test, edit your test. PAV is for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll get that from the icon. So below it is your username. Okay. So now I'll go over to front, then for this BAV, my front will be using these icons, then below it will be using anarchistic. So now I'll just go over to align these text, centralize them. So move to towards the center of the page. Okay. So now go over to here, then centralize over here. Centralize. Okay. So now I'll just go over to 3D rotate, make here 15, then this make it minus 15. Okay. So now I'll just go over to here, then make background transparent. Now save image to gallery in PNG format. Okay. So now I'll just delete this. Delete. Delete this. Okay. So now I'll just go over to here, then we'll be using this shape, double-sided arrow. Okay. So now I'll just save image to gallery in PNG format. Cool. Okay, now we are in PS Touch. Just tap on here and make image size 2560 by 1440. Okay. So now on here, fill and stroke, we'll be using a dark gray color okay add the photo layer and this time we'll be adding our templates add this other template this will be for guide all right okay so now below this add the photo layer and this will be our background so now just add just like this so make it black and white move below like this okay so now add the empty layer now we'll be drawing some shapes here so just follow while I do this Alright, we'll duplicate this layer and just move like this. Duplicate again and now we'll move like this. Uh, okay, we'll duplicate again and now just invert. Okay, move like this. So now we'll just Gonna merge these two layers. Then now go to magic one two. So select this. And now move, we'll move the selection like this. And uh, we are going to clear these, these parts. Just clear those extra parts towards the right. All right. So we'll duplicate this layer. And uh, we'll move like this. Shit, a oh, ton of this magnets. All right, cool. Okay, so now we're just gonna merge down everything and we'll add an empty layer. And here we'll draw a shape using macro selection to oh, fill it, same blue. Okay, so I'm just 
gonna clear off those parts like this oh there's an extra part there okay clear it off cool okay now just go to this place and move up a bit all right so now just clear off some parts like this clear okay so now add an empty layer and we'll draw another shape below like this all right we'll fill with um same blue color and now we're just going to select to clear up those parts we don't want so now we're just going to transform like this move down cool okay now we'll delete or uh, we'll clear some parts like this move the selection down like this and clear up the parts okay so now we're just going to merge down this shape layers cool okay now I'll just go over to Beve and uh, I found these values cool so just try to look for values that will look cool to you okay I think that's cool so now we go okay so just tap on here we'll add a photo layer this time I'll be adding this name so now I'll just move like this okay okay so we'll be moving these social media icons up a bit all right we'll be moving the names up a bit okay so now we'll just move down like this towards the center with the magnet turn on all right that's cool so now add an empty layer so over here we'll be drawing a shape fill with blue i call it patch so now just rotate it like this and uh, that's cool okay now just make a selection here and now extract from this shape all right that's cool So now I'll just go over to bevel. We'll be adding a very bevel to this shape. Look for values that will look cool to you too. Okay, make the color green. Okay, for you I'll be adding a bevel also. Uh, the color should be blue this blue all right so now just merge down go over to FX we add in a glow effect with uh, blur 2 color black doing this for some time Oh, let's see how it is okay still has more glow okay here we'll change the color to white I think yeah white okay we'll just do this for some more time All right, uh, I think it looks cool. So now we we'll duplicate this layer, and over here we'll be adding a glow effect so again, making the color black. Blow five. I think I'll do this for. Okay, 
so now I'll be adding another glow this time I'll change the color to red okay so now I'll just go over to FS directional blow and make the value something like this alright that's cool okay so now I'll just make the opacity down to 65 so now we're just going to merge down this layer okay now we add a photo layer above below the test so just resize like this this is our arrow we made from PZ lab turn on this magnet okay mm. I think that's cool so now I make a selection go over to fill and stroke fill blue so now we're going to add a glow effect change color to green something greenish blow okay okay so now we're just gonna match down So now make a connecting layer below it, fill and stroke, and uh, make the color dark. So now go over to this layer, magic one to click on the outside, go over to this layer, and clear. So we have a black shape here, so go over to FS Glow, and make the color red. Do it again. Um, okay. So now, just make opacity something reduced. So now I'm just going to merge down these two layers. So I'm just going to transform like this. Okay. So now on this layer select so we're just going to extract this from a shape pairs select pixel here so now clear from this select pixel here so now clear from this all right duplicate this layer make here liner dodge Make blend mode here, multiply here, duplicate, make blend mode, another dodge, make blend mode, multiply. Okay, here, duplicate, make blend mode, another dodge, reduce opacity a bit or more like. Okay. So yeah, just click on here and add a gradient like this. So now I just move up like this. Make blend mode liner dodge. Uh, reduce the opacity. So now I just inverse. So we'll clear off those parts. Okay. All right. So here we'll be adding a photo layer. In this time we'll be adding some particles to it. All right. So just move like this. So now we'll just go over to here. Uh, select these two parts, the top and the bottom. So now I'll just go over to here and we're just going to clear off those two parts, okay? So go over to here, make blend mood liner dodge and reduce the opacity. Alright. So now we'll just add an empty layer here. 
gradients uh, that's really cool so now I just make blend mode Lana Dodge where this is the opacity alright guys I think we are done so now just save to gallery and it will look like this so guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time